Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to find a five number summary and construct a box plot. Here's our problem statement. Listed below are amounts of strontium-90 in millibecquerels in a simple random sample of baby teeth obtained from residents in a region born after 1979. Use the given data to construct a box plot and identify the five number summary. Okay, here we have our data set, and the first part of this problem is asking us to construct a five number summary. This is really easy to do once we dump our data into StatCrunch. So here's my data in StatCrunch. I'm going to resize this window so we can see a little better what's going to happen here. Great, now to get the five number summary, I'm going to go into stat, summary stats, columns, because I'm looking for summary statistics on data that is listed in a column. Select the column where my data is located, and then I come down here and select the specific statistics for the five number summary. To do that on an individual basis, I'm going to use the control click option, so I press the control button on my keyboard, and then with the left button on my mouse, I'm going to click the individual statistics I want for my five number summary. What are the statistics for the five number summary? Well, if you need a review of that, here you go. The five number summary is the minimum, the first quartile, the median, which is also the second quartile, the third quartile, and the maximum. So these are the numbers that I want to select for my five number summary. In order to put the answers in the proper order, I'm going to list them in the proper order when I calculate them in StatCrunch. So the first known I want to select is the min. So I come down and select the min and then pressing the control button and keeping it pressed on my keyboard, I'm going to select the next four numbers for my five number summary. So after the min, we have the first quartile, and then the median, and then the third quartile, and then the minimum, or excuse me, the maximum. Notice how the numbers that I selected are listed here. This is the order in which they will appear in the results window. So if I select them in a different order, they'll appear in a different order. This helps me to know what order the numbers are going to be in the results window before I select Compute. This is the order I want. So now I'm going to go down here and click Compute. Now here in my results window is my five number summary, and it's in the order that I need to put them in in the answer fields. So I'm going to do that now. Fantastic! And now the second part of this problem asks us to construct a box plot. I can do that very easily in StackCrunch by going to Graph, Box Plot. Here I select the column where my data is located. And then for some reason, the default selection for StackCrunch is to draw the box plot vertically. But for all the homework assignments that you're going to have here, the box plots are drawn horizontally. So you want to come down here under other options and click this box next to draw boxes horizontally. The other default options are fine for our purpose, so we're going to select Compute. And now here we have our box plot. So we just match the one that we drew with the right answer here. And notice how we've got different we've got different numbers here on our axes. We can change the numbers that are listed here on the axis if we wanted to. Here I've got it set from about 120 to about 180 is what it came up to be. So let's see what matches here. We've got the edge of our whisker a little to the left of 120 so that that so a and d are not going to be correct 
And I want, let's go ahead and just change this axis here. I want to go full out to 180. Okay, see this whisker here on answer B goes almost to 200, but we're not even past 180 yet. So this has got to be the right answer here, answer option C. And the edges of the boxes look good. Everything seems to match up. So we're going to select answer C. Fantastic! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below and let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.